Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, again it's Luandile here as you all know. Whew. Well, it seems like what I'll be doing right now is to give out a second solution on exercise number 2.2, which requires me to write a program that outputs 100 lines number one to 100 each with you with my name on it okay so the output should look like the output below mm. okay again guys i've already given you a solution on this exercise but i thought it won't hurt giving you guys another one reason being It's always, uh, I, I, I told myself I'll be giving you guys at least two solutions on each exercise. That way, hopefully, you'll grasp how Python concepts can be applied in order to achieve a given task. Okay. Mm, what chapter am I on? It's chapter two. As you can see, I've already given you a solution on this exercise. This right here is the second one. Okay. So how do I wanna go about doing this? Okay, I'll simply have a full loop. I'll have my index called I in range. I'll play around with my range function this time around. So I want to count in twos, starting from two. So I want to go two, four, six, eight, ten, so on and so forth. Since I'm counting in twos, I'm going to have to go all the way up to 200. Okay. But if I want this thing to get executed 100 times, I'm going to have to go all the way up to 202. Okay. And then I will have to specify how am I counting? In this case, I'm counting in twos. Okay, so I'll do that. That right there simply says that do the following 100 times, period. Okay. And what is it that I want to do? I want to go print. I want to go I divided by 2 right and then i wanna well, mm, and then i wanna include my name okay so ideally what i'm doing here Remember the i value will start from 2, it will go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, for in each case, I want to divide the current value of i. So, if my i is 2, I'm going to divide it by 2, it's going to become 1. When it's 4, I'm going to divide it by 2, it's going to become 2. You do get the pattern, okay? So, what else do I probably want to do? I mean that's pretty much it you guys let me hit the run button and see what we get oops 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 now mm, since i've got you see this is actually taking me to another point you see we've got those zeros okay that we don't want you see for instance right there we've got 80.0 okay what we want to do is to let me comment this part we need to perform integer division and we can do that by simply putting that sign there you see that right there is called integer division okay okay once we're done putting it you'll see we will get rid of those annoying zeros we don't want 
as you can see you guys now we've got precisely what we wanted in the first place okay so that's gonna be it for this tutorial you guys cheers i'm gone